the curtain. Stop telling racist jokes, Craig. Excuse me. <laughs> we're in them. Um, we were in, um, oh, what's it called the other day? Brewdog Pub. And uh, everything got fucked up. My order came out and it was cold. I was like, oh, no, I don't. I said, uh, sorry, I said, you're stone cold. Can they do it again? He said, yeah. And anyway, he was just doing it. Was, they were that really, really close to getting mine finished. And I, so I could have eaten with my lovely wife. And I looked through, and it's one of those open um, uh, shots into the kitchen. And the person before me had ordered chips with cheese on top. As I turned, the chef took a chip out off somebody else's dinner, <laughs> ate it. Oh, yeah, and then he went like that. Oh, Jesus Christ. He wiped his hands on the back of his hand. He wiped his nose on the back of his hand. And then I said to the way, oh, excuse me. Can you just throw my wings in the bin? I don't want them. <laughs> like, what the fuck am I doing? It's just Nasty. Like <clears throat> downside of the open kitchen. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, it's not yeah. that much of a downside, is it? I mean, you if you're... You can't employ scumbags for that job. Don't touch <laughs> your face. It doesn't seem that difficult. Yeah. Who's in? Who have we got? Bob Clark's in. Scotty Bogfoot's in. Mix. Andy Fairchild. Paul. Barry. Dean. Dion. Sorry. Dean. Dean. Limpar 33. Who are Limpar in the house. Barry. Barry Miller's in the house. Town. The the artist formerly known as Barry Miller. Steve now Bell, known Scotty. as Barry Miller. Gazza. Mick Blizzard. Named, he wasn't that the blizzard was named after him, not yeah. the other okay. way around. I've got to get the show loaded up on the other screen. See, see, uh, uh, yeah, they, well, they can hear us, they can hear us, so perhaps we should roll intro. Oh, yeah, do it, do it, do it. That was some 41 within too deep. If you're watching now, you're in too deep. <laughs> Welcome to the new home show. Chapter what 66. What was that? We've got Craig, <laughs> ladies' man. Jesus Christ, Daniel. this show's gone downhill since I left. That was awesome. John from justanic.org.uk. Also with us all the way up from London. Uh, just for the show this evening. Uh, welcome. Welcome to everyone in chat. Don't forget to smash that like button and uh, comment in the chat section. Switch your chat to live chat so you don't miss any of the action. Uh, we've got a belter of a show tonight. We've got news from the charged. world. We've got vaping news from the world as well. We've got oh, special guest host, Craig Gary Michal. Um, <laughs> Whatever um, random name I picked next. Yeah, and uh, and and me, and we've got new stuff, new vape stuff to show as well. Uh, we'll be showing that later on, around about around about quarter to ten. Uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, the time a, is nine oh four. We're going to do a balloon dance. At, at why, does John's, why does John's room look like a restaurant that's been disused for a while? I know. I but it's going this weekend. The the, the shit behind me. He, he runs a second hand. Tip. I do not. My wife does. Wow. It's, uh, the, the, it's yeah. a, a sideline upscaling business. It's an upscaling um, uh, um, uh, uh, furniture thing that Mrs. John has got going on. Not enough to work for the NHS through a pandemic. Except for the second hand sinks, they're descaled. <laughs> Stay tuned. Tell, me, tell, uh, tell Mrs. John. <laughs> Tell Mrs. John that all of my curtains and cushion covers and everything else, I've, I've just washed them and they've all come out perfectly. Oh, yeah, wow. Are you supposed to do that? Yeah, you can. Can't use the, one of those steamers? No. If people do. I've heard people. They're properly made. I'm not a scumbag. Well, yeah. yep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, lovely to have Gary Craig Mihal with us. Uh, speaking of which, this is Bill Withers. Uh, John, what are you Mystery. drinking? What are you vaping this evening? Oh, What's your favourite breed of dog? <laughs> I've got one as well. I've got one. Um, it's got to be a I, cockapoo. No, they're good though, aren't they? I've got... Um. I have got the Chroma R like that, with the Dwar 16 on top with um, uh, lemon crack in it. 
That's going a treat. And I have got the uh, uh, Proton Mini. Dug it with out. The Proton Mini. Look at, look at that. A 10.5 watts. Bang! Um, Cloud, on bro. top of it is it's the funky new T18E Pro by Inakin. I thought I would get that bad boy out for Londinium because it's got this groovy little oh, there we go. Oh, oh, no, oh, oh, there you go. The fault of yeah. filling the system. Do you know what? It hasn't missed a beat. The coil, nothing, and obviously it's got an inbuilt battery, 10.5 watts. I've had that. You're using that for three days. <clears throat> How are you getting on the joystick? You set it to 10.5 watts. So then leave the joystick alone. Yeah. It's fairly simple. It's 1.64, the resistance. It kind of works, coil. though, doesn't it, the joystick? You know, well, that's a better push. implementation than a lot of them. I hate the, the positioning. Of you the can click them, though. Tank. You can click it and turn it, can't you? Yeah, I hate the. I wish it was to the side. I don't. It's too big to be in the middle, but it's in the middle. So, but it's a tight. It's a mouth to lung coil, as all the T18s are. Um, and it's all right. And that's got what's it got in it? Moma at fifty milligram Moma in it. I'll put hers on your chest. Vaping in London is a bitch at the minute because of um, the masks. Mm. You're always wearing a fucking mask. <laughs> like, like here, cool, mask, there, it? mask. Yeah, <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, the tube is empty. I will say that. You can get a seat every time you get on the tube. Well, it's high. I've got a friend that works for East Midlands. If it's high, the rail network was only 5% ut utilisation. Yeah, it's amazing. Insane. Yeah, I've always said that. I'm a best dog. My favourite dog breed is the Border Collie. Oh. It's just fun. Always happy. I yeah. like Border Collies. Yeah. Border Collie? Collie dog. Same thing, isn't it? Court collie. No. I, no. I, I mean I a collie think. then. I mean a collie. The white and black ones. Yeah. I am a big fan of those. But we can't have one. Because we haven't got the room, but I do want one. No, it's mad that they do insist on their own room. They do, absolutely, they do. But fair enough. Craig, what are you vaping? What are you what are you drinking? Water. I'm, I'm drinking a. Uh, I'm drinking an in innocent energized smoothie. Uh, nice. Strawberry, cherry, apple. I Guarana. bet you. I bet you that says on it that that's like four portions. It probably does, yeah, and I'll end up just crushing all of it. Of course you will, because everybody does. I'm getting... I'm, I, there is one thing that's happened, though, John. I am getting healthy like yourself. Fuck you. <laughs> and I, it's, it's piling on. I hit 15 and a quarter stone at one point. Fuck, you're bigger than me. Fucking healthy, <laughs> fucking fuckhead. <laughs> Yeah, I'm allowed to. I'm older than you. Yeah, so. that's fine. I'm not even 13 stone, so get fucked to my fucking 15 stone. Yeah, but he kind of shows, though, because it's kind of like stick and then that. So it's kind of, and then it goes on. So. Well, you look right. great. Shelly, I mean, Shelly loves it, you know. The, the Shut hand. up about the fucking thing. Look, you mean. First thing you said, when we did, first thing you said when we did um, the uh, show. Up, uh, uh, um, thingy, uh, fucking hell, where were we? Kings Lynn. First thing you did was, Oh, you're looking healthy, yeah. But Shelley's told me to say that. Paula told you to say that. No, 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 it wasn't. It wasn't. I was talking with Shelley, and that was it, yeah. Bollocks. Right, if you don't know who that is, that's Mrs. John. Sorry about that, I keep yeah. Saying it all the time, but yeah, but he's like, No, Mrs. John said, Yeah, he's kind of he's got a bit in the middle, so, yeah. But he's good, John, he's healthy, um. Yes, well, my vaping on. I'm still vaping on your recommendation of that uh, Vaprasso. Ooh, yeah. yep. The that's a good tank. Thing. It's brilliant. It's absolutely amazing. It, it, it's never ever failed. And I've got I've brilliant. got six or so people using that. Yeah. Well, because yeah. Richard sent it to me, and then uh, yeah, Richard sent it out to me. I've given mine away, and I've got 
three other people that, that stopped somebody smoking as well a guy i work with who's a director cameraman he started using it and then his missus because she's everyone's so used to being given a pen and it doesn't work and now she's got that and she's smoking less she's dual fueling but she's stopping you know smoking less yeah it's very yeah. very reliable very reliable. Yeah. and the uh and the uh the we can't see the front of this but it's it's scratched a foot now it's just it still fun. works and it still works it's all wearing out and kind of knocking up but the therion has been they're amazing absolutely amazing but that's it and i've still i'm still using the um uh what was dean's mod the square qb thing yeah the bassium still using that with the d pro mini on top classic yeah and it works, just works. So I've been in that. Go. I'm going to let John down yet again because I can't be asked with Nick sort of mixing and bollocks. because I've still got a uh, lemon tart in it. And but I do have, I have got blueberry fluff in the basin because I found half a liter of it. That was oh, blueberry of... fluff! That's the only left on the planet, I think. Yeah, I'm so miss it. What's he doing anyway, Scott? With she, she. Don't dead oh, name. <laughs> sorry, I'll, I'll get the bollocks to fucking pronouns. Jesus Christ, I'm too old for that shit. It says on my Twitter profile, my pronouns are Spangle and Wank. Right. That's what it says on my Twitter profile. So, um, yeah. don't, basically, DB's gone. Forget it. Just forget DB. Don't. Because that was, that was don't, probably the best don't. minute that you stuck there ever was. So. Yeah. Don't. Well, I, I will say one punch by um, Mr. Blythe. Mm. is the closest there's ever been and it's cleaner yeah so if you're if you're missing brasby mint yeah. find james <clears throat> yeah I, I still recommend one punch to people yeah it's way way it, it's it's the closest you'll ever get and i think it's better because it's cleaner yeah it's absolutely cl crystal clear so yeah they're Which rare, brasby never was they're really rare but i, I haven't hunted around for any new juices for you know, more than a year, it's just been pointless. You know, it's kind of just use it to get through the day. You probably it. like this um, moment. It's it's weird. It shouldn't be clean, and it is. Mango, orange, apple. Mango, orange, Mango. melon, apple. Right. And the melon's not in your face. That's um, like, sounds like Quattro that you used to get back in the... Like, yeah, maybe not too far. It changes bit, with the temperature. It's a bit like one of the other fluffs. There was another fluff, wasn't there, that was like mixed fruit? No, there was peach, strawberry, and black coat. And... No, you got that dragon, you know. Oh, dragon fruit. fruit. Mm. Yeah, dragon fruit and Might stuff be. like that. So. It's a tiny, tiny bit like that. In a, it's just because you don't identify all those individual flavours with moment. No. You just kind of go, oh, it's fruit. One. Yeah, it's yeah. just fruit. Yeah. But it's, yeah, I've not wanted round at all for it. I think you get the apple and mango is what I think you get from it. Yeah. Uh, what else did you want to know? Is that it? Oh, what's your favourite dog breed? I know what I know what it isn't. Right, go on. Right, go on. I know what it isn't. Jack Russell. Jack Russell. Yeah. Jack, Jack Russell yeah. should be all shot with bog guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the way I view them. Should be hung it's, in the street like dogs. God, they, and the worst thing is they just they've got no idea that it's kind of like they've got one one volume and it's ear piercingly loud. That's that's their volume. And it's, and yeah, it angry little bastard. You would have liked my my friend's dog, who was a Jack Russell, got shot in his conservatory by the vet, who came out with a gun and shot the dog. Totally wow. true. Totally true. It just went. Well, mental. it makes sense if you think about it because you've got to wait for a clear line of sight. <laughs> and in the conservatory, yeah, guess, yeah. it's a perfect. You just wait, wait. It's in the conservatory. Uh, wait for it to look at you in the eyes. Yeah. It, it went. It was, it was called Tyson, as those scope. things are like. Oh Jesus cool. Christ! Yeah, but it was, but it was a really lovely dog, and it t it just went. Um, I, I think it had a tumor in its brain or something, because it just went fucking mental. And they had to call the vet, and the vet came out and shot the dog. And my mate was about fourteen when the vet came around and went, <laughs> "Yeah, no, I'm not going in there." <laughs> and then shot the dog. Wow, that's amazing. So yeah, that's. <laughs> That's dog, a dog we don't like. There you go. That's what we don't like. Uh, so, Richard, uh, I've forgotten the order now. It's like, uh, what you're drinking, what you're vaping on. And I'm going to ask a different question now. Yeah, which is, yeah you can. It had no legs. It was just funny. To have four legs. What's the best brand of toilet tissue? Oof. Good one. 
Um, right, drinking. Uh, <laughs> drinking. Uh, I think it's an. I think it's an American tipple. It, uh, Bud, Budweiser. Oh God, you classed this twat. That's uh, terrible. It's got, it's got the three lions. That's uh, even it's less. Got the Saint George's thing. Cross. Uh, uh, why are you drinking it really? Was it for free? Did, did someone fine. throw it at you? Or Football's coming home. There's a knob down yeah. our street now who's got a, one of those. There's an England flag hanging out of his window. Are they gonna, they, I reckon they're going to burn him at the stake at the weekend. <laughs> Who the fuck does that? It's hanging out the window. It's like the most middle class area in this fucking uh, St. Just George's. Just stand outside the house and go. <laughs> <laughs> they love that. Um, are we? Are we getting? Are we getting? Aren't we losing the Euros on Tuesday? Or something? No, it's coming home. Playing Germany. Playing Germany is coming home really fast. It's coming home. No, if, Angela Mer- if Angela Merkel's got it to do, it's not leaving. It's coming home. <laughs> what was it? Lineker said about football. It's like you, play, you kick a ball around for ninety minutes and the Germans win on penalties. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but it's coming home because the final is at Wembley, isn't it? <laughs> no, no, you've missed a point here, which is we're shite, right? <laughs> okay. The actual final, whether we're in it or not, is at Wembley, isn't it? Yes. yes. So it is coming yeah. home. No, and... it's going to. No, it's going to. It's just going straight off, back again. And then somebody's going to yeah. fly out the country <laughs> yeah. on a plane which says Lufthansa on the side. It'll probably go the Euro tunnel. I quite like <laughs> that um, COVID can tell the difference between football and a fit. We'll get to that later on, John. That's handy. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, later on. Yay! <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, so drinking that after that, I'm going to move on to a little. It better not be shit. Belgian, no, I really hope it isn't. A little <laughs> Be- Belgian one. Uh, fucking Stella Artois. I knew it was going to be Stella. Oh no! When I left this show, I thought he was in good hands. He does it on purpose, Craig. He buy gets shit beers on purpose. <laughs> Even I've got punk. I've got no alcohol punk AF in the fridge. I mean, yeah, all right. No alcohol. It's coming so home. It's, pointless. <laughs> but... it's coming home. No, it's coming it's home. Terrible. And if an American and a Belgian lager can't convince you of that, then. <laughs> Bud is so awful. That first sip's fine, and then it just gets flatter. And Interestingly, flatter. on draft, it is also awful. Yeah, <laughs> it's quite. They've got that consistency. It's bang yeah, on. Which I respect because Carlsberg <laughs> doesn't have that consistency. No, it's it tastes five on completely the different in a bottle, glass bottle, can, and pump. I mean, gosh, that's it's like just drip tray, isn't it? So does it's the like Bex. Bex on draft is great, whereas in a bottle, it's just. Yeah. Bloody awful. It's true. So, um, thing is, some of the punks are disgusting in glass bottles, and I don't understand why. They are fucking horrible. Elvis juice really brings out the grapefruit if you put it in a bottle. I mean, it's not Weird, very good it? anyway. Weird. It makes you wonder about e liquid. What are you? Glass, glass bottles, bottle? plastic bottles. It doesn't. Know. It'd be quite good if one box. came in a can. Just to see. I think that's been done, actually. It's been done, definitely been done in aluminium. Um, so. I've got a question for Richard anyway. You're still getting free shit in the post? Sometimes. <laughs> Wicked. Sometimes. Basically, I put an autoresponder on my email just saying don't send me anything and sometimes that doesn't stop them. That's amazing. It's That's great, amazing. isn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah. It's the perfect life. That's what everybody... Uh, Damn Vape wants. sent me their RDA and it was broken. Oh, so that was nice. Oh. God. The uh, it was one of these spring-loaded posts on the RDA, and it wouldn't it wouldn't un spring. That's oh, a, that was annoying. Why did they do mental shit like that? I, I don't get it. Good job I'm not reviewing. I'd have gone. First of all, never send someone of my caliber one of an item. Come on, who am I? <laughs> Chop <laughs> liver. You are. That you only sent me one. Chop <laughs> liver. Come on. Um. <laughs> so, secondly, quality control. Yeah. Where are you at? Uh, so it looked good that it looked good that RDA, but it didn't uh, work for me. Uh, vaping on the Screamer or on the Gaia, um, and in there I've got uh, the Gaffer, orange and custard. 
Oh, I like an orange custard. Yes. We, uh, what's it? Um, Yorkshire Vapor used to do a great one. Yeah, well, uh, I bought this from the Yorkshire Vapor. And obviously oh. they sold their juice line, so, so I can no longer call it the Yorkshire Vapor OC or OG oh. or whatever it was. However, this was also produced by them and is the same flavour profile. Oh, that's amazing. Well done. Well done. <laughs> um, and then on the uh, Voopoo drag, um, I have this. This is Mary's Kitchen Lemon Madeira Cake. Oh, that sounds nice. Was it? Lemon Madeira Cake. Madeira Cake. It's dry, isn't it? Madeira Cake. Quite dries you out. Quite dries you out. out. Didn't yeah. you used to have a bit of a thing for that uh, for glass pound cake, John? Yeah. Oh, I like. I used to like. Uh, what was I like the strawberry I like, one. I like pebbles by yeah. glass. Mm. What was the strawberry one? That was breakfast cereal. It was really good. Oh, mm. I don't know. Pound cake pebbles. I they were good. Though. I got one of them big fancy bottles ones. Ah, oh, they were nightmares though. They were really yeah, dreadful to deal with. Thing ever. Like what's his name from um, uh, Five Pawns? Fuck, he's a dickhead. He just cannot have a conversation. He just doesn't understand business. He's just, just like smashing your head into a wall. <laughs> and then I don't in, care. In the rabbit, I'm never going to vape it. Dickhead. In the rabbit. Oh, lovely, lovely. I'm thinking about putting a bit more nick in that and just putting it back on the old after lungs. It's good. On it's that better side. on the lower. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. Too. Uh, or you lose the that's black not even, I don't even think that's a controversial statement. No, I think it's fine. I think you lose the black count if you've got the the wattage it goes. But mm, mm, mm. Uh, what was the oh toilet roll? <sighs> we I get say we. She never gets it. Um, <laughs> she just gets her own stuff. Keto vegan nonsense. Oh. Um, I... Is, 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 is Mrs. Richard a vegan? Only when it suits her. Oh, Only for vegan... purposes of diet, not not. Vegan, to... yeah, vegan oh. toilet roll. No, she doesn't buy. Any yeah, of the... you make lasagna she out of it. She doesn't buy any of the things in this house that we actually need. Oh. Okay. She just suits herself. <laughs> I I get the big shop. My mum did that. <laughs> she my mum did that. She went out shopping for a fridge and came back with a parrot. <laughs> it, just, that's how easy it is. Seriously, she did. My dad went fucking mental. But she came back. My dad used to go. My dad used to go down the dump and come back with more than he left with, right? Which is amazing. Like he'd go out with something and then come back with like a, a, a TV. And he'd go, "Where'd you get the TV?" And he'd go, "Nothing wrong with it." And he go, "You're a middle class man who works in <laughs> upper management at London Transport. Why have you got a two pound television? It's not broken. I <laughs> know. Put it back." My uh, my grandparents yeah. used to play. Uh, well, I say play. They used to watch uh, that bid up TV. Oh fucking yeah! I had a friend who's dad, his mum was doing that. Yeah. So way before it was fashionable, they were just getting literally like bust in boxes yeah. and boxes of nonsense, like a talking robot. Yeah. yeah. A foot tall. Fucking juices. The amount of juices my my friend's mum had. Fucking hell. Uh, a lava lamp. I've lava got, lamp. Got a right deal on this lava lamp. But they were your, they were the mates you wanted to kind of hang around with, but the ones that had got either a lava lamp or a soda stream. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but this. Not I had a mate with a lava. I never had even understood lava lamps until I went around my mates once. Because I always thought, why the fuck would anybody? Like, it's the most it's shit just, thing in the world. Magnet. Yeah, I wouldn't have one now. Oh, no, you want to be off your tits. That's why a lava lamp's worth having. Like, there's no point having it yeah. unless you're fucked. That's yeah. the only reason. He, I still remember going to his house. I never understood Beavis and Butthead, lava lamps, or Aqua, the band. Went round his house. He'd got some special cigarettes. Um, Aqua we smoked was them. ironic, wasn't it? It's one of the greatest albums ever if you were as high as shit. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> yeah. I just remember being around there high as shit and watching a lava lamp, listening to Aqua, and then putting on Beavis and Butthead to America and going, this is actually very funny. Yeah, yeah a lot of people say white album, Aqua best of. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so tell it all, um, I get Morrison's own, but Quilted. Quilted. Oh, right. Yeah, you've got to go for that, yeah. I'm not paying for the badge, you know what I mean, with some <laughs> of these others, you know, like... Uh, oh, and I mean, I, I like uh, an Andrex What's the one with the dog? Andrex. 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 You're paying for the badge, mate. 
But you, yeah, but, you, but get, you get you get more on the roll. I will say that you do get more. Yeah. What's the one with and the bear? Also, and also, uh, Charmin, 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 Charmin. Yeah. Bollies, Bollies. 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 You do feel better when you're sitting there having a shit and then you see a puppy. Wiping your ass on pound notes. But I mean, it's kind of like, oh, puppy. <laughs> if it runs out, you can just whistle, can't you? Do you know what? It's totally true. When I met, when, uh, like one of the first times, when I met Mrs. John, she was at uni, uh, at UEA in Norwich, and uh, we went up, uh, we were going shopping, and she said she'd got a list. We only began out for like a month or something, and I said that. And I said, uh, "Oh, tell me what other stuff you get. You want? And I'll, I'll go and get it. And, you know, you know, so you can split up and do it quicker." And she went, "Um, it's a toilet roll." And I went, "Oh, what colour?" And she went, "I'm going to wipe my ass with it." <laughs> yeah, I have a good question though. <laughs> because you get yeah. these people who go to go uh, purple, <laughs> but I just love yeah, the fact yeah. she you went. Got a pinch um, bathroom. I'm going to wipe my ass with it. <laughs> I don't really care what colour it is. I was like, touche. <laughs> I well, like how, you. How did aloe vera slip through the net? How do it's what? like it's just Impreg- accepted that it's definitely good for your arsehole. No, you see, I don't. I won't do that because I'll, I'll, I'll instead get those kind of like you can get the uh, cleaning wipe things. Do, the, do you use the, those? The flushable things, and they're brilliant. Yeah, they, I mean, they, they're, they're not strictly bottom, flushable, they're are they? They're not flushable at all. They're not flushable. Oh, I don't care. They go well. They are where I am, so I'm in. They go. On. On the a, second floor, everything they, falls. It, it is astounding how much. Uh, how much cleaner potentially they can make things make one's bum hole yeah they have a thing called an interceptor on a drain and what those do is they pile up on the interceptor and it and it just clogs the whole fucking system that's why they, they don't yeah like there's it. That, there is a campaign about it actually uh, well i'm on the second floor so the there's another two floors before it gets to me. Yeah, they're meant to because re- we were we were we were we were we were wet one in, and then and then and then I was told no more wet one in. But you can go like Greece method, you know, like the Greek islands. Where you use Greece. You just Greek, put Greece. Greek, Greek oh. islands. Oh, Greek islands where you've got a little poop bin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant like Nigel Moxon does when he kind of goes with some Vaseline. No, if you go <laughs> if you go to a Greek island, you have to sort of make like really a polish your... with every piece of toilet roll. I've never listened to the thing I chuck it in the toilet. I have to admit, I'm terrible. In Greece? Yeah. You're only there a week, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can hold it. I can I like, hold it. That's the thing about being British. You go to the toilet and it says, please put the paper in the bin. And you go, dirty bastard. <laughs> put it in the toilet anyway. <laughs> I don't think so, you dirty Best bastard. The sea's just slowly turning brown. <laughs> but on that whole note, I found something out the other week because I've been helping the with a bit of the garden thing we've got at the front doing some watering and he went have you seen all of this and he showed this like white mesh that looked like you know some insect kind of shed its skin or something like that and, I went, and he's like can you guess what that is and it's like tea bags and it's all of the plastic in tea bags yeah it's really? terrible oh kind of, that, that kind of sits around and you know they were and there's tons of it you know when you compost it there's all of the plastic all comes to the surface when you have a kid you really get into wet wipes <laughs> like they become like massive, like so best friend, aren't they? essential. And you're getting like one big shop, like eight packs. Yeah. And then, well, and then as the kid gets older and you no longer need them, you're still kind of attached to wet wipes because you've started using yeah. them to wipe down your sink and you know, <laughs> mop up after the cat, or they've become multi-purpose. But then you find yeah. out they're made predominantly of plastic, and you've got a sort of we you, find that, you know with like kitchen roll if you've got kitchen roll you use it but if you haven't it doesn't matter you can just use a discos and wipe whatever the fuck it is and then you know yeah keep and we don't go for a lot of kitchen roll at all because you cut because if you start you're fucked you i do like that slogan stuff. though that one sheet dos plenty <laughs> <laughs> have you seen that Fantastic. That's Lim- that's as good as it gets. Limpar thirty three says I use cotton bacon. It is quite costly. That's <laughs> <laughs> all it's good for though. Um yes. Oh. So uh, that's that. John. Yes, mate. Uh and Craig. Yes, I thought he could join in on the we now do talking about the news. We just do five minutes news. talking about the real world around us. Oh Jesus Christ. So oh. John and Craig, Trump, what do you think yeah, about yeah. Anton de Beck joining the Strictly Judges panel for the Why next ever, series? I have never even... <laughs> I hate Strictly Come Dancing. It's shit. It's really so, it's, It really it's is awful. Fucking poison, that's what it is. Oh. It's, 
I, I don't the care. lights on some of those dancers. I just think it's so. St- to the you know, the weird thing is, mute. right? But it's We've because got it... internet porn. Yeah. <laughs> why do we? Why do I need Can't to watch that? We when I've got perfectly good internet porn. Can't but watch it, that. We watch. I think it really does show relativity perfectly, should it come dancing, right? So they turn up and they can't dance at all. And at the end, they still can't dance. Ooh. But they can dance Did marginally you see better. Versus Nobly? <laughs> they can dance marginally better than they could at the start. And then everybody goes, oh, she's fucking amazing. She broke my heart. No, because if you come in cold, like if you just watch the final, you'd think, well, the fucking slate of shit. Oh, that's harsh. I, don't, I know what you're saying. I think it's a great, I think it's great. I think it's a my great mother, he's the biggest character on the show. He should be on a judging. My my mother-in-law went there for Christmas, <laughs> and my mother-in-law said, uh, "I could not watch it at all." And they got the Christmas edition on, and fucking Anne Whittacombe strode up to the dance floor, oh, and I said, yeah. "Fucking hell, why have they got Anne Whittacombe on this?" And Anne, uh, sorry, and my Anne Whittacombe's dancing, and my mother-in-law said, um, "Mo Marlon was busy." <laughs> she said. Um, <laughs> She said, she's actually quite funny. And I looked her dead in the face and I said, no, nah, she's actually a cunt. Like, I don't care. Like, there's nothing Anne Whittaker has ever done that's made me go, well, she's a funny dancer. She's a fucking racist, homophobic, bigoted bitch. And I hope she dies. I don't want to see her dancing. I don't care. Oh, if you'd have watched it, you'd have really warmed to her. I'd have kicked her to death. <laughs> I'd have got a bus there to kill her. Fucking idiot. I mean, I've watched that. I've watched that, like, Strictly Kicking, you know, where it's kind <laughs> strictly of... Strictly Kicking know, that, Atari. That. Yeah. That, 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 kind of cool. that John, that's a that's really a few, good man. idea for a show, actually. Strictly Kicking. Ed Balls was all right. Ed, Ed Balls was all right. That's up there with my idea of Lib Dems on the game. I love that, too. <laughs> Wait, you just, you just put random old Lib Dems on the game? I remember Anne Whittaker was stopping. She um, did a series, she did a one off special, and it was about um, sex workers who were working. And, who did and they this? Were, Anne Whittaker. Right. They were, they, she, they were devaluing the houses of the street that they worked on. She went out to have a word with them. She's off her twat. She's so mental. What the fuck? What did she, she think was going to happen? <laughs> She asked them, like, you know, did they have to be there? <laughs> like, whatever. Like, you think? I'm well, not doing it for the love of Nob. They're not that great, yeah. Anne. Did you have to be here? <laughs> With my feet behind my ears. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a a, there, is a, there is a lot of men who do think that sex workers do it for their love of dick. Yeah, some of them do love it. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you know, it's turning your hobby into your job. Aren't you? <laughs> yeah. it's, you, have to look, you have to look him deeply in the eyes to find out. I remember <laughs> I was talking to a window cleaner. I've said this on the show once with a Paul. Some, some of them wake up one morning and go, let's fucking smash it today. <laughs> let's yeah, do really. 12. <laughs> Paul, who used to work for me, he said, um, he said to one day, he used to work the contract, he said, um, he said, well, some of them love it, didn't they? I went, what? Oh, and he said, some of them love it. And I was like, and I said to him, I thought it was really fun. All I could think of was like, you know, when you go, we used to go to see the careers advisor and they'd be on like a Nimbus 4000 typing in and they'd be going, right, so what are you getting in maths? And they're typing your result. And they go, science? Oh, yeah. And they got the thing in front of them. And the, the idea is they type all this shit into a multi-choice computer that it advises you a career. I just wanted to go, um, chemistry? Uh, a D? Okay. Okie dokie, uh, Susan, do you like dick? <laughs> I do. <laughs> wow, good news. Because if you don't, it's little love. <laughs> Given your looks, we think you'll make about £500 a week. <laughs> if, if your nose wasn't to one side, you might make a groan. Uh, so that's Anton de Beck. Um, what do you think, guys, about uh, UEFA insisting on 2,000 of their delegates be uh, exempt from COVID rules when entering the UK to watch the semis and final of the Euros? Fucking insane. They should, should all be flown into the air and then you should open the doors and then just throw them out in the middle of the North Sea. They're that's, threatening that's to take the do. final away from us and take it okay, to Hungary. Take it. <laughs> go. Well, go. Tell them good then, you know. Have you seen what's happened in Portugal since since we all fucked off there? It's not great. I um, 
I think it would be like such a brilliant stand if they said, yeah, perhaps you should take it to Hungary. Yeah. Just yeah. because some things are some things are bigger than other things, what? aren't they? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Who do you think you fucking are at the end of the day? It's kind of you, you special way. They're one like, of the most corrupt I'm organizations really... that's ever oh, it's existed. Unbelievable! Yeah, it's well, just disgusting. And this going on this, about this the other... highlights their mentality for everything. You go about, you go about the other one, right? Which is the IOC, the International Olympic Committee, and they've got a thing in their contract that they've got with Japan that they've got to do it no matter what even with covid and everything else they've got to do it or else they'll get fined for not holding the event and it's like what how caring are these people at the end of the day that it's like no i'm sorry but your figures are going to have to go up by a hundred thousand deaths you know so so we can have our games it's like fucking you know, hell get get a grip i like the, there's so much People are making such stupid decisions at the moment. Angela Merkel was on today t- telling other European leaders, don't let, basically going, don't let Brits in, you fucking maniacs. You're going to have to quarantine. Yeah. Uh, and Sp- Spain went, no! <laughs> yes. Well, the Bal- Balearics has been greenlisted, hasn't it? It's absolute nuttery. They're all going to get it yeah, really but bad. <laughs> Somebody was saying Wayne, Wayne Lineker is going to be cheering right now because yeah. the Balearics reopened. They, uh, <laughs> so you can oodle a few 14-year-olds. They year old. have lobbied for this, though. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's a two-way street. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. But there's, there's, as you say, there's things that are bigger than other things. Like the amount of they keep doing every so often. There's a story on the Beeb at the moment which says, "We really need holiday." Are you going to die if you don't get holiday? No, you. I think you've, you. You're playing fast and loose with the word "need." <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, it's weird. Isn't it? It's weird. Isn't it? It's weird. <laughs> yeah. It's it gives weird. a shit. Just get like ten bags of sand in a tent and then that's it. You're in Portugal. <laughs> it's all it matters. It, it's yeah. the fuck. Yeah. Right, or anyway, yeah, that, that was, yeah. Maybe you could get you could get a twenty four pack of San Miguel and thrush, and you're in Magaluf. Yep. Yeah. 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 There's just a swab. There's a there's a, swab. <laughs> there's a swab in the pack, and you just rub it on your genitals. You've got thrush. Twenty four, twenty four cans of lager. Brilliant. You are done. Or. Or on a really hot day, you can over, over next to your <laughs> You're in Tenerife. <laughs> yeah. Or no. Or you could get, you know, you could get your wife to overdress and then tell all of the blokes down the street to wolf whistle and pinch your ass and pretend you're in, in Rome. I mean, yeah, it, you can, it, it's easy to, <laughs> to do all these things. Get a tin of Heinz, um, Heinz spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> you're laughing. That's yeah. right. A jar of Dolmia. Yeah. That's right. You're in any Italian place that you want. Yeah, croissant for breakfast. That's it. You're in Paris. You know, yeah. Sort of. and a <laughs> yeah. Just get someone else yeah. to pick. Get your neighbour to pickpocket you as well. Just so it's got a real Parisian feel. Drive into you on a scooter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we're just doing casual races. I hate all our European viewers. Um... <laughs> <laughs> and if you uh, and if you want to, you know, Orlando, shoot yourself. You just, Done. Just go into a school. And just yeah. wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So, any, if anybody in chat has got any suggestions as to how to fake a holiday that isn't quite really, as racist really, really as ours, we'll probably do that as a thread tomorrow on the group. Yeah, please let us know. It's a great idea oh, okay. for a thread on the group tomorrow. Um, so, John, yeah. actual vaping news. Actual vaping news. No, I thought you were going to say that. I did. I thought he's going to say it next. Um, it's a it's a, it's a, it's a mixed bag today. Oh, well, yeah. Um, uh, 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 as asking, you know, I shared it last week or the week before. There was the American teen who was tased and beaten to the floor for vaping, where he shouldn't be in Maryland, Ocean City, Maryland. <clears throat> Um, bu- 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 on a recent Saturday evening, a group of teenagers were observed vaping on a boardwalk and were informed by police of a local ordinance prohibiting such activity. After speaking with the teens, police noticed the teen taking another puff from the vape. The officers re engaged with the group, and that's and now the video is now circulating. Um, <clears throat> 
And then this is in a separate incident, Ocean City police stopped a man for allegedly vaping and tased him while following police instructions, holding his hands above his head, which is uh, pretty good. <clears throat> and this article says, make no mistakes, these alarming incidents are the direct result of efforts across the country to criminalise vaping. Which publication it, is this? This is from Inside Sources. Oh yeah, bosh. In the face of overwhelming data against such proposals, pol politicians push for prohibition, uh, prohibitions on flavours and other restrictions that exacerbate the over-policing of minority populations while harming public health. Amidst Amazing. the ongoing nationwide discussion regarding police brutality and racial inequality, the Biden, the Biden administration are actively taking steps to prohibit menthol cigarettes, which is also... Uh, weirdly, there's a huge race divide on, on uh, menthol cigarettes in America, aren't there? Um, turns out... A lot of the black population of America smoke menthol cigarettes if they do smoke. Um, uh, it, it does seem that we've kind of gone... Cr America seems to have gone crazy anti-vape-wise. And um, <clears throat> I really... It's the most tenuous excuse I've ever seen to regulate vaping. Yeah because of the inherent racism within the American police force. Oh, yeah, they're, well, they're just saying that it just gives them another excuse to beat a teenager to the floor. Yeah. But, <laughs> they already have yeah, plenty. But, yeah, but, yeah, but I mean, surely, that's surely that's the problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they're, they're both, yeah, I will say that it's an excuse for the article. Yeah, fine. But, I, it, yeah, yeah. It, it is quite see, a tendency. Did you see Seth Rogen on Conan? No. No. What did Seth Rogen say on Conan? He's um he's bought a cannabis company. Yes. So he was plugging that. Conan had a go on the a joint. On the show. Well, that's like Elon Musk when he did it on Joe Yeah, Rogan's it was a lot like that. Like... It was a lot like that. But it, I mean, it's it's legal in a lot of those places anyway. So I know, but should it be promoted? But they feel it should like promote because... a book. But how is it any different than? <laughs> smoking a cigarette or anything else while it's legal. Uh, that's, but that, for me, that's the thing. That's the thing. That's the thing. This feels now, in America, like a back door to a new generation of smokers. They're having it in a joint. They're having it with tobacco wrapped yeah. in paper. That's how they're taking it. Yes. Yeah. So they've basically just created a new generation of smokers who just happen to also have another ingredient in it. No, that's that's it's okay, Richard, because they get tax from it. It's all right. It's I think it's astounding. <laughs> I think it's astounding. They're going to be talking about we're going to be talking about how many cannabis smokers die each year instead of how many smokers die each year in twenty years. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just you know the numbers will come out and they'll all look stupid. Somebody will get sued in a massive, a massive you know uh, what do they call I used, it, to, I used to really like Seth Rogen, but he's gone absolutely batshit yeah. about this stuff. He was, but he was already batshit about it. I mean, yeah, but just got... do it. Do... <sighs> yeah, I got... no, I'm with you. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I'm not having a problem with people doing it. It seems a weird thing to promote when ultimately it's smoking. Like, can you imagine Ben Stiller going on Parkinson and promoting smoking? Because that's what it is. That's what it is. It is smoking. He is smoking it. He's advocating smoking it. He's telling people to smoke it. It's actually smoking. If it was in a vape or in an injection or a pill, it is a I weird. I get thing. it, but it's literally smoking. It's just it is the same. <laughs> if you if you, I think you need Ben Stiller turns up on Jonathan Ross and says, "I'm really into vitamin C." I'm how really you, into Marlboro Red. How do you how do you take your vitamin C? I just crumble it up with some tobacco for a cigarette in a Rizla and then smoke it, and I find it really hits the spot. Forget the, whether cannabis is good or not. Just think about. How Don't it's smoke. currently being administered. No, Richard, this you, you're missing a huge point here. This makes too much sense. Yeah, it's quite weird actually because Seth is. Just remember, fault. Seth's he, Canadian as well, which is odder still. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. really. Does he remember that? <laughs> I don't know. He he started Kevin Smith smoking weed. That's how much weed gets. Seth Rogen stuff fucking smokes. Which He's is like, cool, but I think there must be a healthier way of ingesting it. Mick Blizzard says, who's Seth Rogen? <laughs> there you go. Yeah, to be honest, 
That's a good point. I mean, if you saw Biden kind of walking out the White House and kind of sparking up, you know, then it might be people might. I care suppose a bit. we've still got celebrities promoting alcohol, haven't we? I spoke to Cully the other week. You'd have enjoyed this, Craig, on his page. I, he was talking about weed, and I said, "You've been smoking. You lot have been legalizing weed for about six years now." I assume all medical problems are solved. Why are you still smoking it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Funny Guy. No, I'm being honest. <laughs> why, why is it not fixed? You've been smoking it for ages. I, I see. It's mad. I see. Uh, it's, even, it's mad from American vape influencers. Hmm. Vape, vape, vape. Don't kill yourself smoking, but have a joint. Have a joint. Smoke a joint. You're all right. I'll tell you, uh, right, you just reminded me of something, right? I'll tell you, you need to get on this show, right? You need, and you need to find him and get him on here again. Oh, well, he's, he's never been on. You need to get Shazza on here. Uh, I can't do it. I've tried. I know. I've tried. I've tried to get him to do it. He can't do it. God damn! You got to get it. He, he, we tried to work it out because he's got the yeah the other because we tried to do it before. Job. Yeah, we. Yeah. I tried to. I went through a few things with him when he was trying to work out how to do something else, and he can't even do it with a voice changing thing because. Oh, He's got such a, a, a voice pattern. He sent me a demo and I said, no, no, it was you. Immediately. Yeah. Because uh, he's got this voice pattern. It would have been great, voice could just have his hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, wonderful. They were, so. I mean, they were the greatest hands in vaping history. Mm. Honest to God. I, t I mean, I, I still talk to Alex all the time. He's, a, he's great. If anybody remembers the vaping Shozza and uh, 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 X1 vaping. X1 vape reviews. Yeah, yeah. X1 vape reviews. Yeah. He's absolutely wonderful and a really nice guy. He's still still vaping and um, yeah. uh, and still doing his day job that we won't mention, but he nearly lost his job. They, they pulled yeah. him in twice. Yeah, him and his dad are just brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Nice yeah, people. Yeah, 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 yeah. You could mm. want to What's next, John? Um, the Parliament. This is the Politics, Policy and People magazine. Oh, Jesus. Oh. <clears throat> Considering the Commission's recent proposals for its ambitious Europe, Europe's beating cancer plan and the revision of the Tobacco Products Directive, Rajnish Singh reports on the World Vaping, World Vapors Alliance event discussed how the uh, that discussed how vaping can help people quit smoking at a recent webinar organized by the parliament magazine and the world's vapors alliance eu policymakers and tobacco harm reduction experts came together to debate the current issues surrounding vaping are they less how harmful than smoking fucking hell do they help smokers quit fucking hell do they create uh, or do they create a new generation of tobacco consumers fucking hell also discussed with the commission's European Europe's Europe's beating cancer plan and the revision of tobacco products directive, which will look at the safety and ease of availability of vaping products. This was the WHO thing. This was the WHO uh, yeah. bollocks. Um, and it just seems the EU directive. The, the for the uh, the tobacco control directive seems to be too. They seem to be too closely attached to who to the WHO. It does seem to be that. Thankfully, we're now out of it, and there will be a revision of ours, which has been now postponed till twenty twenty two. But they've gone mad. I mean, they're mad. Italy have got real problems getting flavours in. Who the fuck? There's loads of people now struggling. Italy, Sweden, um, Switzerland. Um, they're not 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 so much from getting it in Holland, but loads of countries are having huge difficulties getting stuff in uh, to continue vaping. It just seems absolutely fucking mad. Yeah, yeah. it's a um, it's a it's not in a healthy position really globally. I would say. Yeah, I, I I don't know because I mean I'm I'm out of the loop completely with it all, but it's it has always been absolutely fucking mental. And and on one hand, there's lots of things that are kind of happening. You know, you always get like the news, and there's all these things that are kind of happening. And then on the other hand, I can remember five years ago when we were doing these slots, and it was exactly the same feeling. Mm. 
and it, and it's like this it, it it's kind of just swirling around where you get threat and then no threat and then threat and then no threat and but it sounds like there's lots of threats but they're kind of appearing and then disappearing again and yeah, around you just you just I, it needs to be that is it more is it less harmful than smoking yes does it stop people smoking yes um so you, otherwise you end up with flimsy bullshit like this greek epp deputy maria uh Spiraki cited in a 2020 who report which said that though not harmless e-cigarettes were less harmful than convention conventional cigarettes no shit uh, Spiraki said the goal is to win the war against cancer. One in five patients in the EU suffers from lung cancer. Therefore, we have to help smokers by giving them the opportunity to gradually quit. She continued, we have to consider how we can use heated tobacco products what, and electronic Nicorette delivery systems as tools oh. for helping them quit. But yeah, you're oh. literally following the who fucking bullshit because every, every study into... Um, heat not burn has been effectively negative and and 20 times worse than vaping and it, and it has no purpose it, why the fuck why would you if you're going to get run over why would you get run over a bit it doesn't make any fucking sense to cover this shit there was when we were in london uh, the last few days i didn't see any new vaping places but i saw another heated tobacco companies coming up another one mm. you know and it was, it was fanny or something like that and you just think, what the fuck? We know it doesn't. What we know what you need to add to um, vape to do that. You know, it's just this, uh, add to tobacco to keep it burning in a pellet. You are fuckheads. You just want money, and you want to slip in. They want to get into the slipstream of vaping and and yeah. carry itself to the top and not be covered by the the tobacco directive. That's all they're trying to do. Well, that's what I think. CB. That's what I think. CB did. CBD did with. In the UK, that's what that is. It got into the slipstream of vaping as well, wasn't it? But now it's—I mean, it's now. I mean, even if you're a dumbass, it is clear that, from an evidentiary point of view, we'll wait for the chat and see if they're warming up to CBD. It clearly doesn't do anything because if it did. It would, you'd have to have a medical license to sell it. That's how we know it doesn't do anything. That's how you know that cod liver oil, you might as well shove it in your fucking ears or up your ass. It doesn't do anything. Because if it fucking did, you'd have to have a medical license to sell it. Stick whatever else you want on that. Uh, evening primrose, shove it up your ass. All these things <laughs> stick up your ass. They don't do anything. That's that's... John's wart made you blind. Yeah, that can. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. something. That's a side effect. Yeah, it's yeah. like and dock leaves. Dock leaves work on nettle things. Yeah, yeah. That's just that stuff's it, legit. It's it's just a, such a loathsome. So we're now stuck in a position where we, instead of actual science, you have to start publishing shit that is of no worth at all. Well, I mean, we know we right. You all, we all know, and everybody in chat knows that the WHO work absolute fucking crooks anyway the moment that they kind of cut that personal fresking questions about taiwan was kind of like the final proof you needed so it's kind of... how bad was it but the problem was they'd got the problem right at the beginning of this pandemic that they were the only ones really collating any evidence and they were the only people that china were talking to and so we ended up in this stupid position where we have to so you had to pretend to give a shit about WHO, like, which is still happening now. And you're like, no, no, real people have done it. We don't need to worry about them anymore. Stop. Yeah. Stop. John, it's like John Hopkins has kind of done done a better job than the WHO's done about it. It's it, there's Oxford's done a better yeah, job than fuck the it. WHO's yeah, just done fuck about it off. Yeah. It's like just yeah, just get rid of them. Let the universities take over and let them do it. And it, because because and the other thing is because of WHO's misinformation at the beginning of the pandemic, we've still got um, conspiracy wonk twats going, uh, they haven't isolated it. They've mapped the genome, you fucking dickhead. That's not the, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> they haven't isolated it yet. They have. It's here. It's here. Look. No. Yeah. Dan in chat has had good results with clove oil. Oh, it does work uh, for yeah. tooth. To, uh, that's but a, I don't that think that, I think that's really different, yeah. though, isn't it? It is because it works. Be well, I've got other two. We're not saying oh. that all 
things Natural that grow on the earth don't have medicinal properties. Yeah. We're just saying that this one is snake oil. Yeah. But I've got to have a tooth out on July the 6th because the root is the, the actual nerves dying in it. So I'm currently high on cocodamol and ibuprofen. And I, I will say, Clover, if, you've ever, if you ever break a tooth, Clover is fucking amazing. Mm. Um, oh, oh. Vodka's good. Uh, <laughs> Which is basically just potatoes, yeah. isn't it? Works really well with cocoa. It's grain, but... not potatoes. Everyone fixes potatoes. It's not... you, can gargle, <clears throat> you can gargle vodka, can't you? You can. If you swallow it, it's better. I once, uh, Chris <laughs> Morrow so says, I was once offered so acupuncture off. for trapped nerves in my back. I did then explain to my doctor how the human body actually works. That's true. <laughs> John, on the foot, I'm just thinking that's how grandma died. Yeah, I got banned from saying that. I got banned from saying that to my wife. She doesn't like me doing that joke. At all. <laughs> I do it all the time and I get shit for it. What's but... the last news article, John? <clears throat> the last one's from the Eastern Daily Press, which is a Norfolk newspaper. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Norfolk Council agrees to go smoke free at the headquarters. At Norfolk, Ca- wait, wait, don't worry. A Norfolk yeah, Council is, is set to go smoke free. But a ban on vaping is still up in the air. Breckland District Council said it wanted to cement its position as, in quote, trailblazers with a smoke-free policy. The proposal would see smoking banned at the council's Elizabeth House office in Deerham, including in the car park and outdoor areas, while staff are offered support to quit. The council expects a series of benefits from the proposal, include, including including a healthier workplace, reduced absences, increased productivity, and breaking down the barrier between smokers and non-smokers. Because they're a lot like the jets and the sharks from so Westside. Let's, West let's break down the barrier by giving them conversion therapy. That'll work. <laughs> we want to make sure that we're doing everything to make sure that members of staff feel they're returning to a health and healthy, safe okay. and supportive working environment. Okay said Ian Sherwood, Cabinet Member for People. The council has always prided itself on promoting and supporting health and well-being of our staff. My dad works for an American company, and what they did was they gave them money to stop, basically. They said, look, we want you to stop smoking. And they let them choose how they wanted to stop smoking, and then they paid for it. So you could choose uh, a one-to-one therapy. You could choose... Um, uh, vaping, that was one of the options. You could choose Nicorette patches. Oh, and you could choose, what's that fucking drug? Oh, uh, Champix. Champix, yes. Weirdly, my dad chose Champix after I, me trying him with vaping. He couldn't, he just wouldn't get on. He took Champix and quit, but another person in the group had to, had to have, had to, uh, be assessed by the you know the the, the mental health team <laughs> at the local hospital because she went yeah it really did affect her very badly yeah but it, but um, vaping was the best like out of they, they had ten people in each group or something you know uh, it was just it wasn't calculated like that but vaping was the most successful so I think because they paid for it so. Yeah. They were support there that, right away and they wouldn't stop. So they didn't. Yeah, I think that's what you're going to do. If you want people to stop doing it in car parks and other stuff like that, I think it, it's pushing a bit hard. It's, you know, it's a lot of people don't understand just how fucking difficult it is to actually do. I mean, we find it relatively <laughs> God damn it, uh, easy. Uh, but a lot of people find it really, really hard to do. And if you pick the wrong one out of the options, like you say, you can spiral and end up with another 10 years of cigarettes getting over the episode that you had from having shit drugs. So it's kind of... But with I, the support, they did... 8 out of 10 smokers at my dad's office did quit, basically, or 9 out of 10 or something. It really did work. And those yeah. who could see that the other control group worked better, they went with that afterwards, you know? Yeah. They're really... I mean, you've got, to, you've got to give people an incentive for doing it. You can't just turn around and go, boy, you don't smoke in the car park. Yeah, they, just basically, they basically paid them to stop, which just changed everything. And my dad, my dad, uh, weirdly, there was nothing like you could never have planned it anyway. My dad's little brother died of smoking-related illness five years after my dad stopped smoking, and um, and you just think it could so easily have been my dad, who had exactly the same thing. Yeah. Um, and my dad smoked for 
uh, 50 years. And now he doesn't smoke. Yeah. Get the devil vape, vape on. I've never met him. Have we not? Oh, we've had, we've had devil vape. We've had him on. We're, the we're, we're wanting to get him on again. ASAP. No, send, send, send him the link anyway. <laughs> no, oh, we no. can't do it now, oh, no, live on no, the show. No, do, it. do it. Do it. Do it. Soon. No, because no. No, I want. No, because then he won't feel obliged to come on properly. Yeah, yeah, he will. <laughs> no, you you can come back though, Craig. We need to we'll do. Have well, we, do, do, we, do need to, we need to do new stuff. We need to do new stuff. New You'll stuff. have to come back. Have we still we'll got the same as the old stuff. Have, have, we, have <laughs> we got the feed up, Craig? The what? We've got the feed up, so you can see this. What feed? Uh, the, the show. Yeah, the show feed. What chat? So you can see the YouTube. So you can see what I'm showing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I'm, watch, I'm watching it. Yeah, I did think it was funny that that magazine that John found that article in one of those articles in was called Parliament, which is a brand of cigarette. <laughs> yes, it was. Yeah, all bullshit cigarettes have got posh names, and all posh pal all, mal. All, all posh cigarettes have shit names. Yeah, uh, yeah. Right, first one. Vicious Ant, back in Vicious the Vicious Ant. Oh, Selling on eBay. Those... Fucking crew. Class from the past. Jesus Christ. This is the oh. Iris hybrid. Oh, it's it's very, very retro, isn't it? It's, uh, That's going to smash an in instant. It's, uh, it's uh, basically it's like a single cell, regular advice, very vicious anti, all the way up to the big plastic tank on top. Is it a, um, a pod or is it an RD, RTX? You, it's an AIO. You stick a coil in the tank. They're going to ask for money on that, that there's not going to be worth it. And yeah. uh, so I've got a lovely USB, old school micro USB thing in. So yeah. they're really keeping up with things. Well, what's the retail going to be? Like 70 quid? Yeah, no, more than that. More than that. Yeah, like, always caught with like, bollocks. Than fucking crooks. So, <laughs> uh, so yeah, I don't know much about it. I do know Mark Todd has just reviewed this. If you are curious, oh okay. Um, oh, is he still me, being reviewed? Yeah, yeah, he's still going. Uh, it, it, for me, it will come down to what coils it can take, because <laughs> I want trust be. Vicious Ant to make a good stop coil. Mick, Mick Blizzard's not being serious, is it? It's too Mick, are you being? Ser- tell us if you're being serious, Mick. Because if that's how much <laughs> they just want, just can't be. It can't be. It can't be. It can't be. God. Please don't be too much simply quick. Please don't be too it's mental. Uh, but like I say, I haven't watched Mark's review yet. Um, but for me, it comes down to the stock coil. Because if they want to use their own vicious ant stock coil in that, forget it. Get, get in the fucking seat. Somebody's just put three hundred plus dollars down. Yeah, someone's just put that That's down. That's amazing. Wow. Uh, not for me that one. Uh, unless it's. It, it, yeah. it is. Yeah. It is. Mara is two hundred and seventy That's quid. incredible. That is incredible. Uh, wow. You're. It would, it would need to take all major coils, to, and even then, it'd need to be two hundred pounds cheaper. It'd have to wank me <laughs> off for that. <laughs> it'd have to like sneakily, like be using it, and then it goes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you, you would. Yeah, it'd have to for two hundred seventy. That is carnage. That is carnage. That um, is insane. The next one is another Sunbox Aspire link up. Now we've covered this already. It's the box. From Aspire, which is their sort of budget oh, billet fuck. box thing. Just to say, they're now doing one of these special packs for it where you get everything included. You get all oh, the types you. I did send you. borrow Jesus equivalent. Christ. Just just one second. That was reduced. 270 quid is reduced from 329 quid. That's. Oh, so one really of our members mental. support this Absolutely this week. Absolutely mental. One of our oh, members like have, have bought the sun bo- have bought the box like that. Mm. Oh, they've, do- they've done all right with this before that method. <laughs> what I would say about this kit is, I was really sceptical because I used to get sort of these sort of special packs sent, um, but this is literally all encompassing. Um, and imagine what you would pay for a billet box equivalent. You know, f- effectively three different borrow bridge tanks, um, every oh, single like suitable coil. Yeah. Um, I, 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 I would say if you are considering getting the box, do see what the price difference is on this special pack because they've got all the reducers in there they've got all the just for me that could be good value, very good value uh, so check that out if you still 
thinking about one of those. My my only concern in in the whole thing would be that uh, it's kind of like they've taken the design side of Sunbox rather than the quality control of Sunbox. <laughs> <laughs> that was. Just... They did do something. They did a really good job with the this mix. The mm. mix, yeah. I've got one of them. A really, that. really good job. And I, c- I can only assume they did just as good a job. Well, they, the, the main thing they by did, Craig, is they took out it setting fire to your whole fucking house, which is quite good. You don't have to send it to Italy when it breaks. Yeah, that was yeah. the best bit they fixed them, really. But I like the, with the Plato and that other one that they did, the really simple, cheap. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's why, yeah, yeah. That, that, the Plato was brilliant. They should have brought that back. That's totally stupid. They yeah. die way too fast. And the other one that they bought with the sleeve and the dual batteries inside it that weighed next to nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Really I took the Plato on a couple of holidays, and once they fixed the coil thing and got the 0.7s, it was way better. This is the next one. This is the. Uh, now, I don't know if this is a brand new sub tank mm-hmm. or they're just saying an old one of their tanks is now available in Canada. Um, but uh, it's the Uni One tank by Oxford, who, as a relatively new company, hasn't put a foot wrong yet. Really, um, they did the Velocity, they did the other little dinky cute AIO. Um, so I don't know much about the sub tank, but if it's a new one, then there you go. Check out the Uni One from Oxford. Uh, looking at the coil heads, you can either do it mid range, forty watts, or crazy eighty watts. Yeah, looks all right. Looks like a Crown Four, doesn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. it's very much that street. Do you the Crown Four? Yeah. This <laughs> is uh, we're still at seeing. I know this mod is out there, but we're in terms of marketing, we're still at the looking at renders of of this. Um, so this is the M Dura, and the M Dura Pro from Watofo. Um, so the Pro one has got a bigger screen. I don't know if that makes it more professional That's pro. or not. Uh, <laughs> but uh, this is their new dual 18650. I like the idea that you see more. someone in a bar and go, he's a vapor. I mean, he's a, oh, he's a pro. Oh, he does it professionally. <laughs> he's a professional vapor. Oh, why did he got big letters on the side of it again? Why did they do that? I've uh, got no taste at all these days. Oh, boys. Jesus Christ. Uh, speaking of tasteless design. I think the little one. <laughs> The M Dura little probably, one. It's probably fine. Quite fine. Yeah, it's probably fine. The other one. Um, yeah. yeah. So speaking of that, we've got this, and um, this is Freemax's latest thing. This is the Mavos. Uh, we've mentioned it before. It's basically like a drag. You drop the tank in. You drop your coil in the tank. Blah blah. I think the new trend is glass, uh, and this might be turn out to be a glass tank. Uh, the new trend seems to be putting glass in these. You think that's glass? Nah, perfect. It's no yeah, way. It well, it's a render, glass. so it's the, well. Either that, or it doesn't look like that. No, uh, that's glass because the spire, a uh, uh, spire, are very similar glass to to that on the top of some of their stuff before, haven't they? Oh, it's got, a, but it's got because it's got a steel top. It's not glass all the way. It just looks like it is from that angle. They're not. Yeah. They're not trying. That's not glass. It could be. It's just. I don't know. Tip. I genuinely don't know. But all I can think. Well, if if it it's isn't, definitely they've better. Done nothing. They've done nothing of note. If if not, <laughs> <laughs> you have done nothing of note. Fuck you. Uh, it, it'll Freemax do good coil heads. So it'll probably be some pretty all right vape. Uh, it's pretty standard looking sort of thing. Um, this is the Coolfire Z8 that we showed before. They now have a white one. Um, I still haven't seen anything. Uh, if Dean's still in chat, maybe he has heard more. Uh, I don't know if they've acknowledged this fire burn thing. Um, so I don't know if the white one still has a crunchy fire button or not, or a <laughs> sticky fire button. Um, but if, if they fix that problem, it's a really, really good kit. Uh, and the white one looks really nice. All I could think about when he said sticky button, because I kind of faded out slightly because of the drugs, was, ooh, Hellfire. <laughs> <laughs> Crunch. Um, They've got, Hellfire have got something now, I think. Hellfire so. have got something new right. now. Yeah, it's a billet, another billet. It's a, it's, I, yes. really love, I love the, uh, I got the SX351, I can't remember, but Reaper. I got a Reaper. I, every time they bring some out, I think, I wonder if they'll, Someone will pop up on the sales with uh, the regulated, the beautiful regulated mod that they did, mm. trying to sell that to get the newest thing, and I'll jump on that. But 
Mark White. Done. Mark White is a collector of Hellfire. Uh, this is pretty dinky. This is new from uh, Deja Vu. Oh, Who how odd! A very popular YouTuber. Um, he sort of covers more of the Malaysian scene. Um, but this is an ins incredibly dinky, cute thing as an AIO. Basically, putting the tank aspect to the side of a, the battery. Um, it's, I think it's pretty cool. We got uh, oh, have I got another picture of it. Hold tight. There we go. Uh, this is sort of a, an exploded look. Um, so it's an AIO. Uh, you stick your coil head in the little tank, but it's stylish. It's really stylish. It's done a nice little job with the door hiding the screen and everything. Um, and it's tiny, really, really, really small, like half a pack of cards. Oh. Is that a billet or what the no, fuck? No, it's its own tank. Uh, I think it's so small that it could only be its own tank. Okay. That's quite, that's quite neat, right? But it's very, I think it's really quite cute and neat, yes. Uh, oh, no, I've got the inside shot. Sorry, I didn't, it wasn't up, now it is. Yeah, so it's really, really cute little thing. Uh, That's a pub mod. That's a proper pub yes, mod. Yes, it is. I don't know how long the battery would last, but uh, but I think it's trendy, oh, really for, stylish. For, for so many of these things come out looking so shit, and this is <laughs> quite dinky. For a 10.5 watt vapor like me, it's about a week's battery. That, no problem. Yeah, probably only I'm, about 1,200 miles of it. Yes. I'm on a grand total of 7 watts, mate. Can I? Look at that. Um, You'd be proud. The, the if there is a trend right now, it literally is billet box alike. Yes, That's definitely where we're. We've at. done it so many times. Um, well. Here's another new uh, billet box alike, uh, and it is uh, by Ground K Loud. Don't know them myself. Uh, this is a pitch from Tony B, um, the Godfather of Squonking. I'm gonna be right back. Craig's gonna fill in for. You are. Okay, sorry. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, this is the Ground K Loud um, Borrow suitable device. It's a it's a mod that can take a borrow tank, uh, DNA sixty board, uh, sort of billet esque. Uh, don't know too much about it. It won't be cheap, uh, and but it's got its own styling. I will say that is that for it. It has got its own styling. Um, yeah. Uh, I, other than Tony, I haven't seen anything about this. Apparently, it's called the Meta. Um, so if anyone's interested, go check out Tony B. The only, bit there is there is, the only bit there ever is with those is the where the condensation comes out in a, in position to the screen and buttons. Yes, and, and they've really blocked it up. Like they've literally slid that entire plate over the danger area. Yeah, and it's. I don't know if I'd have put it on that side. I would have made the holes on the other side. Nobody gives a shit, really. I completely agree. Uh, I would well, I would keep that all like that and move the screen around to the other side. Yeah, yeah. Um, because it'd be nice to see the screen. I know the, I don't. It's not a, it's not a feature of the billet that you can't see the screen. It's a side effect of the layout. Yeah. Well, um, it depends. You can get a covers where you can see the screen. Yeah. But on this, can. on this one, you're not going to be able to. No. See it. That's my. But the point. thing you want the, but the eternal problem with all of those, with anything that's billet box alike is if you've got the condensation and the means of condensation escaping is has any any path downwards to something a even, gap even just filling it, it, it take it even just filling it you always get a couple of blobs yeah yeah, I've never had the conversation with every problem. A lot of people say... Yeah, what we're loads saying, of though, is we think this might be more prone to that. Yeah, yeah, I do agree. But I've never had it. But, but then people like... Some people get in the habit of purging, which is like the stupidest thing. Oh, that's just daft. Or asking... con continuing firing for the entire duration of the draw. Yeah, that's not a great idea. No. Uh, so it does depend on the rate start. It's interesting. It, again, another company doing another billet-esque... Yeah. Um, there we go. Uh, Me, so, the, the billet box is a perfect math to luck, but not that great. If you don't yeah, know. it's a bit crazy to go too cloudy with it. Uh, this is new from E Leaf. It's another ice. I think it's going to have the ice stick badge on it. Um, as you can see from the ruler next to it, it's only five centimeters tall. Fuck. Holy shit. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I'm just. I'm just 
That's about the same size. Yeah. It's, a, it's probably, if you pick up a random RTA, it's the same length. Wow. That looks like a zero that's been through the wash. Yeah. Does. Yeah. <laughs> well, with two, with two fuck off of. screws through the door, though. Yeah, as well. yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, but I guess what? that's the price you pay freely. But I actually think that looks quite good. It's not bad. Dinky. Yeah. Internal is, battery. I don't know how yeah. actually effective it's going to be at vaping because I mean uh, battery life, wattage capability. I don't know. So here's a question because I've been out the loop again, which is, has the whole uh, eighteen three fifty phase died on its arse yet? Or yeah, it seems to. Yeah. People seem to be going fuck off because they don't work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was a very temporary high end renaissance, I think. Mm. Uh, yes, I think so. Uh, we mentioned Saurin last week, didn't we? Because of all yes. this new trend of all these credit card style AIOs. Uh, I thought I'd check them out. They have recently done their latest version uh, of their own thing. They must be spitting feathers that everyone's now copying them three years later. Um, but yeah, so they've got, <laughs> they've got this, the Saurin Air 40 watt. Uh, which has sort of a see-through style to it. You can see the coil, you can see the board type thing. I'm waiting for it to appear. It's not on my screen. Um, it's not... I, mean, I think it's, it's mental. <laughs> They're all, it's always been a mental design. Uh, I really like that. They've done quite a trendy job oh, with this got it. one, though. Oh, it's not bad. Yeah. I mean, especially as their idea has come back into fashion, yeah. the vape from the corner. It looks like an, It looks like a phone case. Yeah, I take. See, that's a pub vape. I'm pub vaping again. That's a pub vape. I think as well. Yeah. Unlike all the others that have tried to copy them in the last couple of months, they're mm. learning from their own mistakes. If it's because you can see it's taller, the batteries and wider. Yeah, the batteries wider. It's based. Yeah. I think it's basically got like one of these batteries in. Yeah. And yeah. by giving it the extra height, it's allowed that because this has got an incredibly good battery life. Yeah. Um, yeah, just a little lipo. That does work way better than anything else. So I wonder what the retail's going to be on that. That is about 38 quid, I think. And the, so oh, yeah, the, just want to know the what the pods are. I guess the lipo's in higher end uh, mods. They do, a, they do a point eight, John. Oh, okay. I might get, I like it again. Yeah. I quite um, like it. That's your lot. That's your lot of new stuff this week. It's a semi interesting bunch this week. I, I don't the hate the Sauron thing because I think they might, I might actually buy some. Well, I, haven't, I haven't bought a mod in <laughs> two years, so yeah. I'm gonna have to. I might, yeah, you might have persuaded me. So I'm, you have know, a little browse. Yeah, um, I think um, what's most notable, notable for me when I do these check of what's new, you know, surf for all the Instagram things and stuff. There's some really major players, really quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I can't remember when we last showed something from Vupu. I can't remember when we last showed something from Joytech. Uh, the list is when you actually go through it of all these people that literally haven't even just done a little wanky random Instagram post for but like they two months. But, but uh, to a lot of these places, though, it, the the name doesn't matter. Because they're just following, you know, like yeah, but they'll not... hammer a few, they'll hammer a few lines out and take. Two over years ago, though, could you imagine? Go. Two years ago, could you imagine Joytech going four months without a product release? No, but are, are they Joytech still? Are they not one of these other ones? Um, I don't know what happened to that entire brand because COVID seemed to wipe it out. Because <laughs> uh, E-Leaf, Joytech, and Wismec just went off a cliff the day COVID happened. Yeah, and they were but all supposed to be one big company, weren't they? Yeah, but it does make me wonder just how much it's kind of, you know, uh, these companies kind of they'll bring the products out, they hammer the market, they saturate them to the point where they've got a version coming out every other week, and then their name becomes tired, and yeah. because people are going, we've had enough of this whole, you know, Vupu bringing out something every two weeks. So all that happens is that they. they you just change the name. You're still making kit, you know. It's and people chase this stuff. 
yeah it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter to them and, it, and maybe and, maybe and, there, maybe there is a bit of that i guess but yeah, i don't know I, I still find it startling how long it is since some of the major companies have released a product uh yeah and I, I don't know if it's uncertainty because of the market, you know. How would you even get a new vape to America right now? No idea. Well, that's, they've got, they're having, obviously, they're, they're sticking, uh, they're having problems with everybody. Aspire, they're not seeing the kits that we're seeing now. They're still getting to the reviewers, though. So it, can't here's a question, then, because the show's going on forever and at some point you want to start. Um, what's happening in the high end, high end these days? Um, oh, there's a new. There's a the the uh, EVL have brought out a new tank. It's actually um, had a little bit of a upsurge this year since Christmas. No, um, I mean, well, what the kind of trends are? People still making like five hundred. It's. I think it's a. I th I'd say right now it's probably more mixed than it's ever been. Yeah, there's a there is a good variety right now. Um, yeah. I, so I think the, the things that seem to get the most traction are people doing. Uh, things to stick in your billet I, I did send that for you for your new stuff but you didn't do it did, when did you send it? oh yeah yesterday <laughs> or the day before to me personally yeah to you personally I've still got the EVL Wraith Wraith yeah, Raff, Raff. yeah. I've, I've still got the ugliest the ugliest atomizer that's I've ever been deck. created that's uh, the lowest profile high end RTA ever yeah the new deck new deck design from John it's not the same as what you remember in 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 stuff, I'm really looking forward to the Wraith as well. I, it's just great to see. I I love seeing yeah, UK uh, makers create stuff, especially as John's now. Be fair, it's just it's affordable gear as well. It's high end. So I give you that, but it's not. It's they're not solid titanium. Who were we just so talking what, about? What, what's happening on a the Hellfire? Like the, we were Hellfire. talking. About. Yeah, what's I mean, what's happening on like on the the Hemo end of whatever. As if I'm I'm banned from every one of those groups. Right? Well, yeah, I mean, because I always it. promise to behave, and then I never do. Yeah. The things that are getting the most traction are billet box alikes and yeah. things to put in your billet box. Uh, this is the That's new. Weird. This is the new one from Hellfire. Will it go sideways? This. That's the new one from Hellfire. Oh yes, 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 I do. Oh, basically, basically, a Hellfire billet box. Wow, and um, you know it's going to be built like a tank, and it's going to be expensive. Yeah, it's a difficult one because oh, you can, yeah, it's not cheap because you can buy four aspires for the same price. So it's like oh, at least yeah uh, on the nice. box, and uh, everyone is raving about it as well. Uh, Mark Todd has been teasing his. Oh, uh, he's got a new thing to go in the billet box. Yes, right. his new um, oh nice. Bridge. Uh, uh, it's a RBA. For your billet box, essentially. For your billet box, yes. Yeah. He's got him and is it Sarah? Sarah Saskia? Saskia from uh, a Czechoslovakian bird, isn't it? Some, yeah. Ugly <laughs> bit. Ugly fucker, but yep. Yeah. It looks like a man. <laughs> um, yeah, it's some sort of collab, isn't it? 400, uh, the Hellfire's 400. Del Boy Vapes or something. Like Actually, to be honest, the Hellfire's 470. That's right. So let's let's just go and put the Hellfire, which you know the build quality is going to be astounding. You know, there's because probably only there's point. only probably like the Stig Helix and a couple of other mods that have ever come out that have got close to the build quality of like a good a good Hellfire yeah. mod versus Vicious Ant. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, oh, wow. yeah. But it's not. It's up against the box from Aspire, which is which is uh, 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 like you can buy four. Five. No, but you look at you look at the price point of the vicious ant, which is oh yeah, it's a piece of shit. But they've always yeah, they've always insane. been mad. It's a couple of times I've been very proud to be a member. Well, quite a lot I'm proud to be a member of this community. I mean, the amount of charity work that has been done is ridiculous. But <clears throat> when I like the devilish shit, like I remember lots of people sacrificed their own eBay profile to bid on vicious ants garbage and ruin them. They put up one two mods they made and it was up to a hundred thousand pounds of people fake bidding that just was the very end because yeah. the the they never finished it and everybody just smashed them into the ground and i, I really really fucking deserved it so yeah yeah uh, so that's all the new vape stuff craig what's new with you what's nothing much really um, 
I've got to have a tooth out. Uh, that looking forward to that. Work's going. How, how, really why have you got to have a tooth out? How's your why back you... or whatever it is that causes uh, you to take medicine? You want what? 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 How's your How's your rheumatoid arthritis? <laughs> Uh, that's fine. Yeah, everything's really good. I haven't, I haven't had a flare in months. So and, and, why and you having, back, what, what, what tooth are you getting taken out? A back one? I'm getting the back one at the bottom. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, so I'm getting that one taken out. But no, my consultant lives just downstairs. Oh, okay, that's good. So, which is perfect. So when I'm doing the garden, we can talk about how my, how my arthritis is and everything else. So it's kind of, it's perfect. Do you feel... Because uh, I'm gonna, we're gonna just make this about you because it's easy. Okay. So I don't want to be to be dubious. So <clears throat> we know now that the uh, uh, if anybody doesn't know, rheumatoid arthritis is actually your own immune system attacking your, you, um, and so you actually take immunosuppressants to stop your immune system overrunning. Yeah. But we also know that immunosuppressants and the COVID vaccine. It, the COVID vaccines, in some cases, have been proven to be not a great mix. <laughs> that would be my first inject. The first job I had was pretty shit, it, but it wasn't. You know, it felt well, like cold coming on. Yeah, some time. some people with in other immuno um, uh, uh, issues have found that the vaccine hasn't actually given them any immunity at all. Yeah. No, I don't know if it has or it hasn't because I don't go anywhere anyway. So, you know, but it's, yeah. it, it, what I did though is when I took mine, I, the first one I ended up taking, because you take methotrexate, which is the same stuff you take for chemotherapy. Yeah. Um, and so what I did is I, I had my injection and then I stopped for two weeks after I had the injection, which is where I went slightly wrong. So the second job, what I did is I stopped a week before and left it till a week after so it meant my immune system had enough time to get up yeah and then it had enough time to hit it and didn't didn't feel anything nothing happened with That's it good. with the jab so um yeah but they thought yeah i don't have any kind of trouble with it at all there's so you many know, you around a bit but it's quite like i've been speaking to i'm often amazed at how people who are directly affected by the news take no notice of the news not 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 yourself um there was two. There was a story in February and one in March. Um, one from Pfizer and one from AstraZeneca, both saying that it's very likely that morbidly obese people will be have less protection than other people. And I told somebody that recently, and they were <laughs> imagine. And I went, what do you mean imagine? They wrote that. It's in there. It's in there like terms yeah. and conditions. And they were yeah. <laughs> imagine it was. It is. It's here. And yeah. I sent them like five articles, and they went. That's not great. And I was like, why the fuck did you miss that? It's right there. It says it there. If you're 96 years old, the the effect of it will run out faster. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think so. It says it there. It's in the paperwork. You don't yeah. need to be a conspiracy theorist. I'm literally telling you what they've said. It's there. Yeah. Read it. Oh, yeah, it's you... just getting, getting old. Oh, getting you're old watching just... the Euros, Craig. Yes, I've watched... Every I, I tell a lie, I've missed the first half of the um, France, Portugal, Germany, and Hungary matches, but I've watched every single one of the others. I don't normally watch football, but it's just it's just great television, really. Except yeah. when Robbie, except no, Robbie Savage is <laughs> he, he just about gets a pass, but Danny Murphy's bloody terrible. <laughs> God. He's, you're not, you're not the first person to say that. Who do you tip? Yeah. Who's, who's your tip? Who's your, who do you fancy? Uh, I'm going to pick Italy, I think. You yes, I agree. Um, I think Italy and I've got them in the sweepstakes. So. Yeah, Spain are kind of... Spain are like Arsenal when they were kind of like playing really good football but not winning anything. Yeah, yeah. Um, so they're like that. Portugal got spanked by Germany, so we know that they can be taken down if they want to be. Germany nearly got spanked by Hungary, so you know that they can have a good go at them. Yeah, England, not, not brilliant. We're just generally a bit rubbish. Uh, Wales actually stand more of a chance of getting further in the competition than England do. Yeah, they got because of the they? matches. Yeah. Yeah. So you know they've got a better chance because we're playing Germany. Um, so and outside of that, then it's like Ukraine and a few others, and you're like, yeah, all right, they're not gonna. I don't can't see them doing it. Not against. 
not against Italy. Italy are just firing on all cylinders at the moment. So, yeah, I think that's been about it. But other than that, who I mean, do you fancy, John? I have no idea what you're talking about. When uh, um, the football, Mrs. John is going to start watching the football Tuesday. I think. <laughs> I think. That's what I I'm think it's the. Be. I actually think, personally, I prefer the group stages because it's kind of like everybody makes mistakes and it's more of a you know there's like so much more going on and it's there all of the time whereas when you've just got one match a night and then it turns out that it's some actual shit nil nil draw and the penalties are crap it just it's like ruined the whole evening whereas if you've got three or five or you know you like two really good matches going at the same time it's kind of a bit more fun so um, I will say, yeah. Johan has asked me, what about Sweden? I don't know what the fuck they're I'm not, they're not, team, no, not the team they were, Johan. Yeah, they're the oldest squad in the Euros, so I mean, yeah. it's kind of, I think they're the oldest or second oldest. They, uh, uh, and, and, might no, be time for a rebuild. Got, uh, might be time for a rebuild for Sweden. And they've not got uh, uh, the big man. You're bringing right. bitch. Anyway, we can talk about football after the show, because you know how much I fucking love no i'm going to bed because i'm no 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 um we are um we've got only got a couple of minutes left john i was gonna say we're back that's what i was gonna say no no horson i was gonna say we're gonna be back next week and we're gonna have an we're gonna have another guest and we what a guest what a guest we've got a guest next week um who you having on Secret, secret. But you can tell me because I don't care and I don't want you to. Well, set your we'll, we'll Plus t- to record. I'll tell you when the camera turns off. Um, <laughs> go over to justadnick.org.uk and buy some stuff. I'm going to be getting a new stuff in next week. Going to get some uh, cotton in? I've got some. And we're going to bacon. You got bacon? Nice. Yeah, always got bacon because it's my favourite. Um, you got any and coils? We, yeah, PCs. PCs, PC coils and con from justadnick.org.uk. And we got, uh, yeah, we've got, we've, uh, so we've got a new flavour launch. So I'm waiting for them to arrive and a new supplier. Totally. Gary Dibley could stick oh, his good tips on your side. You got a new TV. Bang, we're off. Yeah. LG. I got a Panasonic. Panasonic Vieira. Back Panasonic. You know. so they're, they're all made by LG, really, but he's got the one. Screens. Are, Panasonic. No, 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 no that's the, scre- the screens are all Samsung. Aren't they? The thing uh, is, Samsung I'm or little... LG, they're the two people who make them. That's it. Yeah, it's kind of, but I'm living in this little small kind of like flat, and I've got the, I've got a 55 inch in the Fucking room, hell! Inch, and a 50 inch in the bedroom. Yeah. You'll have to watch <laughs> it in your neighbours. That's mad. You have to watch it from your window. Oh, I will say that. Um, that that Mrs. John, bought, I got my surprise birthday gift today, and it was a digital projector because uh, I used to have doing one. That? Oh, I really like it because you can watch really you can watch movies. Really lovely. Uh, I've had one before, and now I've got a new one. I'm going to put new movies on. Yeah. Put it really close to the wall and watch it really. Small. Really tiny. Yeah. No, we're going to probably watch it in the garden. <laughs> we're going to probably watch it in the garden. We're going to set it up so we could put it right on the wall in the garden. Watching the garden. You'll need oh, a wall with cool. no impairment. Yeah, I've got all oh, got a screen, son. Got a screen. What? Wow. Got Can't a screen to project like, well, we'll on. Talk about this off That's air. So middle right. class. Done. That's so middle class. Thanks for watching. Up next is Nimone <laughs> with the live sessions of the Duck Bill Platypuses. I thought you were going to do like some Dylan covers. With... Um, what was it? The, uh... The Alan Partridge doing his electric light orchestra bit. Yeah, I I, I kind of want it. Oh, you have just I done that? Pulled everything out. I I but that's it's not ten thirty four. You're watching have the I... new home show. <laughs> All right, right, we'll go. Just cut, shut the thing off. <laughs> I don't even know how the fuck I did. Smash that, that like button. We'll see you next week. You won't be able to contain <laughs> yourself when you find out who the guest is next week. And, hey, uh, it's just going to be one of those really special. I was going to show you Steve and the Spider. But you don't have a webcam, so how are you going to do that? I'm doing it now, aren't I? No, you're not on screen, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Look. Oh, yeah. Oh, there he is. There's the spider. That's been haunting my fucking show. Right. And on that bombshell...
we've Great. been the new home show you've been brilliant thanks for watching